First thing I want to start off, why did we get teased by Dolphy, Fujitora, and Law's fight this episode? We got teased. We only got a glimpse maybe about two minutes long, and all of a sudden it just cuts off and go back to the tournament. I think like, you sons of bitches. I just, that's the first thought in my mind. I was like, I want to see what's going on. Fujitora sits out a fucking meteor again! Again! And you see Law just fucking room and cut it in half. I'm like, yes, yes, we're seeing the continuation. And then, no. Okay, so besides that, getting completely trolled literally for about two to three minutes. This was a good episode. I like it. This episode had a lot of fighting. It was enjoyable. And I love getting to see all the final contenders in this tournament finally fight in Battle Block C. What is interesting, okay? And you find out these different characters with their different powers. Like this one dude is using Explosion Fist, okay? What's so interesting about this entire factor is he doesn't have any fruit, devil fruit, inside of him. He wants the Mara Mara fruit. So... The question is, what exactly is causing him being able to use these, like, explosive type fists? Is it hockey, or is it something else? Either way, very fucking interesting. The way he just freaking hits that big-ass giant, flips him, he hits the side of the Coliseum. I'm like, oh my god! It just shows you the fucking power of that dude, his power of his explosion. As we all know, Luffy is not guarded against explosions. He may have hockey now, we don't know how far his hockey can really guard, but we know that his Devil Fruit, Luffy's Devil Fruit, does not guard against explosions. So most likely if that dude was to hit Luffy, it would fucking hurt. Pretty bad, okay? And then there's this other dude. This other dude at the front row. So we can see this little dude hates being called a shrimp, shorty, or chibi. You may have a height problem, but don't, you know, kill people over someone calling you a chibi. So right there, that's kind of fucked up. Now, one thing though. With this entire scene, we see that when one of the Hoppo Navy go to strike at the front brother's older brother, like the tallish one, that his hockey axe breaks on his fucking back. His axe that has hockey breaks on his back. Holy shit. That, that just goes to show you how strong that person is. Now, let me explain, okay? As we can see, this older brother, or the tall one, pretty much doesn't like fighting. He says he doesn't like fighting. He's never fought in a day in his life. But all of a sudden, we see a giant fucking form that looks like the younger, shorter brother has his face on the taller brother. Now, as we can see, we saw, like, when the Funk Brothers were talking, it's like, uh, do something. Like, uh, do some form of thing, like, to do it. And all of a sudden, we see the next scene to where, like, the younger brother looks like to be on the bigger brother's face. So, right there, very interesting. I wonder where the hell that is going. But it was really amazing. I love the tension and the way it built it up on those scenes. I felt like this entire episode really built up the contenders and fighters a lot better than the actual manga chapters. I mean, I want to be honest here. I like this fight. You know, when I was actually reading this fight in the manga, it was okay. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't demonstrated enough. In this, I actually got to see different scenes that looked really fucking badass. I mean, Chin Zhao. Chin Zhao. Okay? You see his fucking scene in this episode. He has fucking blood on his hands. Like he was crushing in people's fucking skulls like melons. You just see blood all over his hands. It just shows you how fucking strong and massive and cruel this dude is. He was just beating the shit out of everyone in front of him to get to Luffy. And his line's like, Garp, you better watch. I want to kill your grandson. And he's just fucking beating through people. And the scary part is... Is. His rage wasn't directed at the people he was fucking smashing. It was at Luffy. He was pretty much just giving him a friendly shove in his eyes. Shit. That is crazy. Okay? That just shows to show you how crazy that is. And then we have the entire pirate hunter that actually knows that Luffy most likely is participating in this battle block. So right there, really fucking awesome. I mean, we have a lot of different contenders in this that is really interesting to watch. And I like the way it's being demonstrated. I, I love this episode. Yes, there's some problems with it. But it was a good episode. I like the fucking music. The music definitely leveled up the tension and atmosphere in the different fights that's most likely going to happen next episode. Overall, good episode, good amount of enjoyment, and I just love getting to see these characters. Oh my god, the Funk Brothers, the fucking just explosive man with his fucking fist, Chin Zhao. It was just good. It was a really good episode, so tell me your thoughts on this. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What's your favorite moments about it? I love you all so much. Please be safe. GB out.